heat number 19 and this is the heat which should decide the world championship of 1983 the man with the yellow helmet is Egon Muller of West Germany he has scored a maximum 12 points from his four rides so far he would be the, West Ger the first West German to win the world title very very popular and of course the mass of these fans here just keeping their fingers crossed for this for this last ride if he rides the maximum once again he will be the world champion but in fact such is the case that if Muller were to finish second he would still be the world champion the man in white is the man who's going to give him most trouble Hans Nielsen who's on nine points Nielsen who was one of the favorites for this title before we started has nine points there are already three riders on ten points that's Gunderson, Carter and Olsen but now we have Billy Sanders on ten points as well and he is in the heat that comes after this one but if Egon Muller is first or second he will be the world champion and that is Egon Muller number twelve away from the pit the full lineup for this heat number 19 there is Muller wearing blue wearing red will be Mitch Schurer on the inside Hans Nielsen in white and then on the outside Tony Casper in yellow and black who has only scored two points thus far in this world championship final the two men we should be watching will be starting alongside each other in gates two and three. Egon Muller is in gate two and Nielsen is in gate number three. Here comes Muller. In the red helmet, it's Shira. There are the points. And so this vital heat, heat number 19. Egon Muller has been riding absolutely brilliantly in front of this largely West German crowd, 35,000 people, and I suppose that probably 25,000 of them will be cheering madly for this West German in the blue helmet as he comes up for his last ride. He's getting himself absolutely set. Schirra in red, Muller in blue, Nielsen in white, Casper in yellow and black. He's going back again and up to the line. They're ready. They're off and he was left. He was left of the gate. But can he come through on the inside? He's on the grass. He was riding around on the grass, but he's in second place at the moment. In the lead at this moment is Hans Dielsen. In second place is Muller. In third place is Bitschera, and in fourth place is Tony Casper. Well, his front wheel was on the grass as he went around there. And in front, at this moment, it's still Hans Nielsen. Wondering whether the referee will make any comments about the riding of Egon Muller, and that would be quite remarkable. Well, that first corner was quite unbelievable there because Egon was virtually on the on the limit, and Nielsen bike stop. Nielsen bike stop. So that gives Muller the, the lead. What a sensational heat this has been! Hans Nielsen bike stop, and with only a half a lap to go, Egon Muller virtually comes back from nowhere. He comes over to take the three points in second place. It was Shera. In third place, it was Casper. But we are wondering whether there could be any problems at all about that first bend. If there isn't, then Egon Muller is the world champion for 1983. And as far as he's concerned, he feels that he is. He's ridden brilliantly all through this series. Only in this last race did he, race did he show any signs of pressure. That's right, that last start he did was, was terrible really, he missed the gate completely, but he made a first corner there with almost both wheels over the grass.
but I, I think the back wheel was definitely on the right side of the line, so I don't think he's going to be disqualified. And as far as the television is concerned anyway, Egon Muller of West Germany becomes the first West German ever to win the individual World Speedway Championship final. These are extraordinary signs of happiness. The 25,000 of the 35,000 people here are absolutely delirious. Egon Muller of West Germany, one of the pin-up boys of sport in Germany, not only as a speedway rider, but also as a singing star, has brought the first ever world title to West Germany. The world title of the individual speedway champion of the world.